What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. People love to set records. That's right. They're obsessed with them, I would say. You know, there's that special thing where you just want to get your name etched into the record books. Yeah. You'll pretty much do anything to achieve that. Right. But there are some records you may not want to strive for. Yeah, and, it, and it, even if you do, some of these records, you probably will never beat it. All right, I, I actually think this record will never be broken. Um, the record for being hit by a car and then being hurled X amount of feet like okay. I said, some records are only able to be set once, and right. that's it. And this was an accident. So apparently Matthew McKnight, he's um, an ambulance worker, mm -hmm. so he was helping somebody when a car hit him and he flew 118 feet away. Wow. That's a third of a football field. And he lived. Wow. So even if you attempt this, I mean, I, wait, I guess you could attempt it by wearing uh, protection. Well, why would you want to attempt it? I mean, this is some dumb idiotic, idiotic stuff. You, you would never, I mean, look, this is this is a record that you would might accidentally set. It has so, to be so you know, if, if if you break it, that just fate. It's nothing more. Don't try to set it up. Right. Just you know, if if it's meant to happen, then you might have that record. But this never next record is the dumbest thing, ever, ever. So I see a rattlesnake and I'm, I'm running because because I'm not messing with that. Right. That thing that thing bites you. You're done. I'm, I'm scared of snakes. I'm not into snakes. If I'm in the desert, I walk carefully because of snakes. And this guy in 2009 set a record for most live rattlesnakes held in his mouth with 13. This is the probably this almost the single most dumbest thing you could attempt. And he actually broke his own record of I believe 11 yeah. that he set. So he set the record. Then he was like. I'm gonna break my own record. I mean, I, I, he could have got skinnier snakes. He put not their heads in his mouth. No. He put their, the rattlesnake's yeah. tail in their mouth. Yeah. And then the head is basically dangling. So at any point, any one of the 13s could bite him and he's gotta go to a hospital. Well, let me ask you, where do rattlesnakes poo? Where, where, uh, where, where does their poo come from? Does it come from the rat? No, I don't think so. It comes it comes in uh, somewhere in their underbelly. Okay, because I was, not, I was not saying, if it comes out of the tail, that'd be nasty. I don't thing think ever. so. I mean, and they all look... poo in his mouth. I don't know. Stink poo. Never seen it. Don't want to taste it. All right, uh, I'll tell you. I, w I saw a video of this. Mm -hmm. All right, do you just th think about this for a second? So this is the this is the record for highest dive into a shallow pool. Now think about this. If I if I said Mike, why don't you climb thirty six feet up in the air? Okay, thirty six feet. Imagine that. It's like three three four stories, yeah. right? If each if each story is about eight to ten feet. Then you have to jump, land into a shallow pool. Diving. Shallow. Not just like jumping feet first. Correct. You're jumping head first, yeah. leaping off, and you have to land in the shallow pool of water. In the shallow pool, uh, there's videos of it on YouTube. It's, I don't know, like shallow. Would you do it? Um, I would if I'm trying to win the Darwin Award. Yeah, because you're going to die. I'm going to die. Or break your neck. Yeah. Or break your leg. Yeah. You could break your leg. There's only, if you look at this guy do it, there's only one way you can do it that you don't die or break every somersault in the water. Nope. He, he does the most epic belly flop you can imagine. Mm. If you think about it, this makes sense, right? You have to uh, increase your surface area yeah. so that you don't, um, you, so that the water kind of just acts like a cushion. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's not definitely not a cushion because water, if you guys don't know, if you hit it at a certain height, it's as hard as concrete. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, but if you think about this, dude, this is why you'll never break this because you have to practice to get the form exactly right. Because if you attempt this and you and you sort of are off, I mean, you're breaking bones, yeah. man. I mean, that guy's that guy's ridiculous. The next guy is not that smart either. Like, this uh, this guy from China in 2014 set a record by being swarmed uh, with 326 thousand bees just covering his his body. I mean, bees wow. like bees. I mean, I get it. Like, if they sting you, they die too. But right. I mean, they're kamikaze esque. But I mean, I don't care if I, you know I kill, I take a hundred thousand bees with me. I mean, I, I don't, I want, I don't want. Well, first die. of all, you're dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I've seen this before. A seventy year old Indian gentleman uh, hadn't cut his fingernails for um, uh, looks like 70, 62 years. How does he? How does 62. he eat? Okay, so here's what he does. Right. Uh -huh. So first of all. He he does he's doing this on purpose to get into the right. royal books, right? And it's no one's gonna beat him. No yeah. one's gonna beat him. So he's got this uh, this cover that he covers his nail because those that can break. So he covers it every day, yeah. and his life revolves around taking care of these nails. Wow! So his wife will help him take the bag off. Then then he's gotta I don't know like go eat or whatever. Then he's then he puts the bag on. He's gotta clean himself. Do you make money for having long nails? 
I think that for him, it's not about. I don't think he makes money. Like he might make a little bit. In, in I mean, I what know. what work do you do in life that doesn't involve using your hands? I, I I think that whatever he does, he supports himself, right? That I mean, it's only one hand. So I think that he just wants to be known as the guy with the world's longest fingernails, and then he just takes care of them. That's insane. All right. Well, I don't want to ever beat that. The next one is dumb as heck. <laughs> Oh um, there's a guy who basically taped 15 bottle rockets and Roman candles to his legs, chest, and bare head, and then lit them all at once. Here's the, here's the, here's something you need to understand about what fireworks are. Fireworks, firecrackers—they're basically dynamite. Yeah, <laughs> now, they're mini dynamite. dynamites. I mean, to light them, it's just stupid. Right. I mean, I used to do it. We used to do it. Like in China, when we were young, we used to hold a firecracker and see who can hold, hold it the longest right. and let it explode and who can tolerate the pain. That was dumb enough. Was we're not lighting enough. 15 of them. Yeah, especially every year, um, you always hear kids dying from firecrackers yeah. or being severely injured from firecrackers. Well, the thing is, they're like, and he survived. Well, good for you. I mean, great job. That's, that's, that's the whole point of that achievement yeah. is, I did it and I lived. <laughs> Uh, I, I think this next record is pretty insane too. So um, the record for diving off of a off of the highest cliff, so mm -hmm. 192 feet is the record. The previous one was actually way before in 1987. I saw some YouTube clips of people doing these high over 100 mm -hmm. feet high dive, and I'm like amazed that they first of all they land feet first mm -hmm. straight in. They don't land with their head. Uh, I, they must have like feet of steel. Because at that at that point, I mean, yeah. I don't know how long it takes to hit terminal velocity, but if you if you you're probably longer than 100 feet, 170 feet. But if you are traveling that fast, like you said, it is like basically just yeah. hitting cement. I mean, like just and also like just standing. If you're if you're stood on top of a tall diving board looking down, like it just freaks you out. Oh my gosh! And that thing, like it's just anyway, I couldn't do it. The next one is pretty pretty crazy. I don't think most people could even do this if they tried. So there's a there's a elderly lady from South Korea named Cha Sa Song, mm -hmm. and she failed the driving test 950 times before passing. Oh my god. I mean, gosh. how many times a week would you have to take a driving test to, to fail even, it 950 yeah. times? I don't know. Like on average, the say takes t test takes like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I mean, already right there, that's you know 9,500 minutes. Yeah, that's insane. This next one is my favorite one, and this. Uh, this one, anybody can attempt to beat. Mm -hmm. It's just very painful. It's the record for the world's highest wedgie pole. I guess without it snapping, right? Because if it snaps, it doesn't count, I'm imagining. Well, I imagine like it usually wouldn't snap with the quality of good quality of underwear that we have. <laughs> no, but can you imagine like in order to beat this? First of all, the record is, the current record holder is Todd DeFazio, who received a 22 inch wedgie. So. I guess they're measuring, where are they measuring from? That's what I, I want to know. How far is that thing up his bum? That, that's, first of all, it's all the way up his bum. Like, the thing is in the crevice, right? And, yeah. then, and then like, where do you measure it from? That's, that's what I want to know. Are you measuring it from where the, the top of the wedgie down to, down to where? I mean, that's insane. And 22 inches. I mean, that's a long wedge. I mean, that's got to really have some practice. Yep. Maybe before, maybe you were, you know, got a lot of those in high school. I mean, and I didn't. I love to be the guy where the guy's like, hey, the, the record attempting breaker will be like, hey, help me out. I want to set the record. So I'll be like, all right. No, I can't even do it. I just feel bad for him. The next one, I don't understand why any man will, will ever do. Um, so would you want to be kicked there? No. In the most sensitive part of a male no. male's area. And I won't even do it for money. There's no amount of money you can pay me to absorb a kick in the groin, no amount of money. So, so basically, this guy, he he, Kirby Roy, he practices a discipline that teaches him how to withstand pain. Right. Okay, I get that. All right. Yeah. You're, you're trying to withstand pain. Right. Fine. Then have somebody maybe like like stab you a little with a needle, like in the arm right. or something like that. Maybe not get kicked there. I mean, this is Shaolin monk. Uh, Qigong basically. This is Shaolin Monk Kung Fu because I've seen uh, documentaries where Shaolin monks take repeated kicks to that area because supposedly they're supposed to, it's, they're supposed to develop um, a complete and utter like shielding with their every part of their body to withstand any kind of blow including the vital parts. So this guy right here has harnessed that. Well, either that or later he's gonna just be like, he's gonna be, you know, singing soprano for like 20 years. Yeah. So. <laughs> So the, so the record was he got kicked in the groin with 1,100 pounds of force. 
Oh my gosh, that's crazy. By a professional uh, martial arts, martial arts, yeah. martial arts guy. Here, here's one that um, you you can't even attempt to break. Evil Knievel, we all know who Evil yeah. Knievel is. Um, he actually broke 433 bones in his career. Wow. So the most out of, the most, I guess, broken bones that anyone suffered, I mean, it's, I mean, it's rare to even break one bone in your yeah. body. I've, have you ever broken a bone? Yeah, I've broken a bone. Which one? Tomorrow, left arm. Really? When? When I was a kid, like Ooh. six year old. You, like you fell off something? Uh, yeah, I fell off, uh, I forgot, I fell off something, I oh. landed on it, it yeah. broke. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that um, hurt. Yeah, and then you, you know, put yourself in a cast. It was like months, and then it was mm -hmm. back to normal. Imagine having that happen in all of your body, 400 and, that, and that's times. like your career. Yep. And you have to go on, go to work with that broken bone. I mean, that's crazy. Well, anyway, those are some of the craziest world records that we don't think anyone would ever want to break. I right. mean, look, it's great to have your name attached to something, right. but, but nowadays, if you think about it, you could be a record holder for anything. No, exactly. I mean, look, the wedgie thing, would you ever have thought that you could be a record holder for getting a pair of underwear pulled so far right. out of your butt? You're I mean, a record holder. I mean, for that. what's next? It's kind of like almost. It's kind of like baseball. You hear you ever hear like baseball yeah. statisticians? They always like. No, this is he's the only one who hit three triples no. in two game in the same climate. Like right. you can come up with all sorts of junk. Like yeah, how about I can shove like a candlestick up my nose the furthest? Like mm. that's a that's probably that's, that's probably. A record. I'm not even kidding. Like, like continuously burning candlestick. You know, I don't know. Oh, I'm not saying burning candlestick. I'm just nose. saying regular candlestick. I'm not shoving a burning fire <laughs> stick up there. But anyway, guys, let us know if you would actually try any of these records. Thanks for watching. See you later.